Welcome back to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett. And today, we're gonna cook a beer can chicken, put some sticky piggy on it for good measure. You know the beer can doesn't help that chicken cook in any way, right? So? None of that moisture evaporates. No beer is going into that bird and all that can's doing is getting in the way. Hey gang, today we're smoking a beer can chicken Cajun style with some cherry wood on the Master Boat Gravity Series. All right, we're smoking chicken today, so this is cherry. It's pretty larger chunks, and then just a few small chips of hickory just burst through in this catch pan, so hopefully our hot ashes fall right down. All right, it's trimming time. Just over six pounds. I'm just gonna start taking the excess fat out where I can. We're gonna go with a little bit of the old Tony Satchery's butter injection. Um, got well over half a bottle left from a previous Boyd. Don't you all worry out there watching. I gave the other half of this beer a great home. I like to get the entirety of this can open. Here. I'm gonna drop some seasoning in the actual, uh, oh, uh, beer. I should have mentioned um, Elysian Contact Haze is what we're putting in there. Um, my brother, left some over here for me and I am now using it to cook with. I'm just putting a little bit of AP rub in there. Letting it work its magic. And we're also gonna do with the sticky piggy. Inside the cavity. Especially with our nice little stand. So I'm gonna get this a little dry. I'm gonna coat this with oil before we slap it on the master belt. Go with a little avocado oil. Got a nice smoke point. Just gonna get a nice coat on the skin. And we will put a little bit of rub on there, but I really wanna take care of this um, chicken skin and hopefully do a little bit better job of uh, getting a nice crispy result at the end. All right, Master Belt has reached 300. And some messy bird is going on. Yeah, 
That ought to do. We're going at 300 for the whole way. Um, probably check on it in about an hour or so, but I want to just try and get the skin to crisp up real nice and a nice little beer can chicken. Let's see how we're looking. Thing of beauty. That skin's getting a little dark. We're gonna go ahead and temp it. I'm guessing 155. One fifty seven. One sixty. Okay. Let's see how that thigh is treating us. One sixty five on the thigh. We'll just have to keep the letter going. We're getting there though. A whole nother hour. I'm guessing we are done. She looks. Sun good, doesn't it? Chaz Michael Michaels putting the putting the cook on this bad boy. All right. I think this bird ready to come off of here. Oh, no clean way it can be done. All right. Take her on. Oh, she smells pretty doggone good. The smell from the beer is uh, really nice. Why don't you hang out, buddy? And just as for proof here, not a lot did cook out. I mean, it just never really does. It's not, it, it cannot happen. I mean, that's flat out science here. Put this feller on his back. Oh, I'm, the skin did get a little hacked off there, but I'm just trying to get around this keel bone here. And take the leg quarters off here. Mm. Cut these little wingies off. Mm. It is juicy as all get out. Well, oh my god, show you how she's slicing here. Super flavorful. I mean, even the wings look pretty. Mm. In case you were wondering. But yeah, the, the thigh got a little overdone. But there's that thigh meat. I will give it a shot. Mm. All right, guys, I tried this and it is fabulous. But moment of truth, that skin. Crispier, but not where I want it yet. Mm. Let's see if I can illustrate the juice factor here. Very, really juicy and I will say, the sticky piggy might not be for chicken. I know, sacrilege. Tastes pretty doggone good though. I will admit though, I think the can just gets in the way. I really like the smell coming off of the um, beer can though.
And if anyone says that the beer doesn't get into the flavor profile, well, I'm here to tell you the, um, you can taste the beer all throughout that chicken. And it is a bit hoppy. Put the AP rub in there, the savory notes are coming out. So really that is some dynamite chicken. And yeah, I definitely give it a shot at home. I mean, also for appearances sake, it just looks awesome. Chicken sitting there with its wings tucked back, two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> to the wing show rather. A mm, little more dark meat for the for the chef. Well, basically two hours at 300. I jacked it up to 325 at the end. A um, little bit of injection, a little bit of rub, can of quality beer, and you too could be eating some dope chicken in your backyard. Hey, right, thanks for putting up with me and watching this cook. Uh, if you want more backyard experimentations and ideas and barbecue tomfoolery, then you go ahead and click that subscribe if you feel like it and the notifications and the bells. I don't know what you want to do out there on the YouTube, but what you want to do in your backyard is barbecue the right way with me and my gang. Mmm. Mmm. Well, hopefully I don't drink more than half. And you know that sticky piggy's gonna make it sweet and spicy. Late.